Hey, it's Jonathan. Uh, yesterday I posted a video talking about some things people can do when they're working at home um, in this new environment where things are changing really fast. Um, I got some great questions and I'm going to answer a couple of those questions today. If you have any questions about working from home, please post them in the video description and I'll do my best to answer them. So um, I got one question from, uh, from Facebook from uh, Becky and she asks, how can I avoid people talking over each other on a conference call and not hearing the other person? Short of holding the conch shell, I'm not sure how to keep engagement and enforce turn taking. Um, this is a great question. And um, what comes to mind here is that it's not going to be an overnight fix. You, you need to change the way people work with each other and sort of the game people are playing when they're on the call. It's kind of like changing the social norms. The best way to do this is to have a really strong facilitator. And I'm going to pull in a document here so I can write up these notes as we go. This is a new format, and I don't know exactly know how it's going to go. So let's just do our best, which is all we can really do in these times. So um, uh, you have a strong, strong facilitator. And the other thing you can do is um, make sure that you're helping one person at a time. So this is sometimes called one concern at a time. And the way you do that is you have a list. You can just use a Google Doc and, and share your screen and open it up. But have a dynamic agenda. What that means is that you open up a Google Doc and you say, OK, who wants to put something on the agenda and let people say whatever they need to? And you're just collecting items at this point. So this is called building the agenda. So you want to build the agenda first. And then you say, OK, we've got a few items. Let's start. And then you go to the first person on the list. You say, OK, Sally. And you say the name of the agenda item. What do you need? And you ask them. And for the duration of that item, it's their space. We're trying to help that one person get what they need to be complete on their item. What this does is it, it focuses the energy on that one person, and it prevents this sort of random discussion of people just talking over each other. Now, you as facilitator, you need to enforce the, the communication. You can use, you, use your mute button on Zoom. You might come off like a jerk at first, but people will get used to it, um, particularly if they know that you, you know, it's your meeting, you have the authority to do it. That's one thing is you have to be really clear about who has the authority kind of and, and get people clear about why they're in the meeting and what they're there for. Um, so you want to be counseling this person and helping them uh, get to what they need. There's a thing called the four pathways, which is a way in a meeting to help someone get to a, a result they need. So you want to use the four pathways, and that's sharing information, requesting information, um, or uh, requesting someone do something. The, the fourth one is changing um, an expectation. And we're not going to go into that because it's a little more advanced. Um, that's some of the work I do in my, for my consulting work is helping people set expectations and, and adhere to them. So we've got this idea of uh, helping whoever's item it is. You say, OK, would, would you like to share information or request information or request someone do something? And this forces them to think about what they need to get clear. And then once they get that, they should be able to say, oh, yeah, OK, I got what I needed. Cool. OK, that item is done. We move to the next item. Um, and then you can frame it and you can say, OK, while we're working with Sally, we're trying to get her what she needs. So Sally, what do you need? You, you're confused about that product and you need some information. OK, does anyone have information that can help Sally? And then you wait for people to speak. Um, what happens, and the reason that the reason we do all of this, all of this stuff here around having a specific agenda item and and being focusing on the person whose item it is, um, doing one concern at a time, is the reason that our meetings suffer is because we mix our concerns together, and it just becomes a big ball of yarn that's all tied up in a ball. Um, so what this does is it starts to unravel the ball. Um, so focus on one person at a time. And when you notice somebody brings something else in, you say, oh, hold on. Um, 
that sounds like a different concern. Let's put that on the list. And then you capture it for them, you put it on the list. And now they can see it's on that list. They know you're going to get to it. Um, and you don't let them speak um, until that one, until that first item is done. Now, there are tricks for how you can go about choosing which items to do next. You can use your best judgment, and you get better at this over time. Um, but that is my best advice for how to enforce turn-taking um, and be specific about uh, preventing people from talking over each other. Now, not people not hearing each other, really, people are responsible for themselves. I wouldn't even try to do this. I would just let people space out if they need to. Um, people will learn quickly if they're not paying attention that their, their work is going to suffer. So there's an element of letting people own their own autonomy and freedom and not trying to enforce behavior on them. What we want to do is we want to have our meetings be effective. We want to have people get in, get what they need, and get out. Um, so I'm going to keep this video short. That's all I have for you today. Um, please post your questions down below. I'll, I'd be happy to get back to them. Uh, if you see this on social media, post a question there. My intention with um, what I'm up to right now is to help people during these times um, just by providing any kind of support that I can. Now, it's 11 o'clock. As part of that support, this Friday, um, I'm doing a free call at 9 a.m. Central, 9 to 10 a.m. Central. This is going to be a um, sort of a reflection call for the week for people to talk about how working from home went for them this week, bring up any challenges they have, and just get some peer support. So this first one is open to everyone. There'll be a link in the video description. You're welcome to join. It's just going to be a Zoom call, and I'll be facilitating it, so I'll make sure we go in a structured format. You'll be able to ask questions, and then also you'll see what it's like to be in a meeting that's facilitated this way. So I hope to see you. I hope you're all well, and you have everything you need. And it's my wish that you're effective, happy, and safe. Thanks for watching.